Have you seen other artists obviously making money from their blog and you've wondered, how do they do that? Or maybe that's something I would like to do myself. So in this video, I'm gonna share seven ways that you too can monetize your blog. Hello, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophie, and I love to help artists just like you to set up, market, and grow a highly successful business doing what you love. And if you'd like to learn more tips and tricks on how to build that successful art business, then you're in the right place. Here on this channel, I post videos about all things art business related. So make sure that you subscribe, and of course, hit that bell to get notified every time I post a new video. So before we dive in, let's just get clear on this term blog, because for me, it means a couple of things. The term blog can actually mean the name for your specific website, especially if you're somebody who builds their whole business around creating articles every single week or maybe several times a week, and a major part of the website are your articles. Then people just tend to call the website a blog. It goes back to the days when people just used to have websites that just were blogs and didn't have other content on them. So I feel like it can be a bit confusing when people are saying I'm monetizing my blog. Do they mean the website on which you have lots of blog articles or do you mean just one single article is also called a blog? Now in my previous video that I'll link up here, I talked about seven steps to actually creating a blog article. I'll also put links below to the three reasons why I believe blogging is still alive and well for us creatives in 2022. So I just wanted to be really clear so you completely understand what I talk about when I say monetize the blog. So let's dive into the seven ways to monetize off your blog. Now, I wanna be I want to be clear that a lot of these ways you can actually use just off one single article, not necessarily the website in general. So that's pretty exciting too. So let's go ahead and look at the first one. And the first one might seem really obvious, but I sometimes think people just forget about this. You can actually sell your artwork. So imagine that you've written a blog article talking about your latest collection, the inspiration behind it, how you created, in fact, you might create a series of blogs the inspiration behind it, the process, how you move through the end result, etc., etc. You might have made a little mini series of blog articles about your latest collection. Then wouldn't it make sense to make a little bit of an offer on that last blog article and say, seeing as you are a, one of my blog readers, I'd love to give you 15% off this new collection um, and give them a code. So if someone's reading those articles, they get a code to go to your shop and purchase from that new collection. Now, it might sound really simple, but I don't see anybody else doing this or very, very few people doing it. It sometimes feels a little salesy as an artist. So if it does, I wanna let you know that people are reading your blogs because they're interested. They're on their website, on your website because they want to know more. They join your mailing list because they want to hear from you. And if they're looking on the shop, chances are they might wanna buy something. So wouldn't they just love a discount code? I'm thinking they would. All you're doing is being kind to your um, incoming audience. So the second way, of course, to make money from your blog, and that is we're using print-on-demand products. So again, you could be talking about a specific new product range that can give a discount code. It can be simple as that. Sometimes people read blogs on your website and they're blissfully unaware that you have anything to, to sell. Sometimes they'll just go, perhaps you use Pinterest as a strategy to market your blogs, and they found a pin they love, they click through, they love your article, but at this point, they haven't really looked at the rest of the website. They're just reading that one blog article. Right now, they go back and they think, oh, okay, they've got two options when they read a blog article. One is they can read the article, and of course, they can link through and read other articles, or they just go. So you want to send them somewhere, right? You want to keep them on the website, we know that. So by offering print on demand, that's another way to generate an income. Someone's read the blog, you signpost them to where it. Did you know if you love this artwork, you could get it on a nice tote bag and go shopping with it. And here's where you can go, and maybe again, a discount code. So by just letting people know that that's what you have on the website, it really, really becomes a really powerful marketing strategy. Blogging can become a fantastic way to make income. But what you wouldn't wanna do is just send people into social media posts, you know, go and see my print on demand, I'll give you 15% off. It's too big a gap, right? Someone comes, reads a nice article, now they understand what's behind it. Now they're probably a little bit closer towards wanting to purchase. 
So it's pretty harsh to kind of go from zero to 10 in a sales perspective. But if you've got a nice article or perhaps a Pinterest pin and then a lovely article about what you're selling, then a discount code to purchase, it feels more organic and it's you're much more likely to get better results that way than just trying to skip all those middle steps out. I hope that makes sense. The third way you can make money from your blog website is digital downloads. Now, if you're not a digital artist, you know, you're going to say, I'm not interested in this. And I want to make sure to be clear at, at the beginning, you know, even if you just use one of these strategies to go with your blogging, that's good enough, right? You're not going to do all seven. You might do one or two, maybe three. So you've got to find the one that resonates for you. If, however, you're a digital artist or you already create things, perhaps you have an Etsy shop with products on, this is a perfect way to um, introduce perhaps a whole new line of digital downloads that they can buy on the website as well as your Etsy store. So for example, you could have simple and easy things like cards, calendars, uh, planners, organizational items, coloring books, and so many more things. And make a very low price point item. So if someone's come again, they've read some articles or they've watched a video, they're on the website. That's a really easy way into them becoming a customer is spending just a few pounds or dollars on say a coloring book or something that complements the article they've just read. So you want to start thinking outside the box. And I imagine by now you might be getting quite excited and you might want to, here's a thought, grab a sheet of paper, some colored pens, and write out all the topics that you could blog about and see how they might link to the things that you have for sale on your website. So you could say, oh, I could write a whole article on this and that would be great to give a discount code to link to this particular item. So rather than having it random, make sure that it's strategic and planned out. Just a little hot tip for you there. Now, number four ways to make money from your blog website is usually one of the standard ways that people think of, or if you Google the term monetize your blog is likely going to be the first one that comes up, and that is affiliate links. Now, what is an affiliate link? An affiliate link, for example, is you uh, buy lots of art materials from one large website online. They give you the possibility to have your own private link. So when somebody else goes shopping through your link and buys what you love to buy, they get a discount, perhaps, ideally, but you actually get a small percentage of that sale. So you can do that with lots of different companies. You can even approach maybe a local art shop or you could approach businesses or products that you buy a lot of and you say, hey, I'd like to talk about them on my blog and I'd like to offer my customers either a discount code or at least there's some sort of a win-win situation. So an obvious affiliate program is something like Amazon. So if you buy um, tech gear or studio gear or books specifically that you think your audience would be interested in, then you can set up um, selling through Amazon and you can create your own little affiliate link there. And then when people buy, you get a percentage of their shopping cart. Now, initially, it's not going to make you a millionaire, so don't get too excited, but it's another income stream. And once it's set up, it's a passive income stream. All right. So think about if you use the Adobe suite, if you use Canva, if you use any social media publishing tools, most of these things have an affiliate program. You just got to be aware that it's only any good for you if your audience is going to want those things. So just because you use them doesn't mean to say your audience will. So think about your audience. If you teach painting, art materials is the obvious thing. If you talk about specific books in a blog article, then a lot of people shop on Amazon. So that's, a, that's an obvious one as well. So start to think about what affiliate links could you create? And you can have them in the article. You can talk about that topic and create one-off articles, or you could have a page on your website with specific helpful, helpful links for people. So number five way, of course, is to sell an ebook or a physical book. So maybe you could put your artwork all into an, an online beautiful picture book where people could do a print on demand and you could link to a print on demand site that will fulfill that book for you so that you're not having to deal with it. But again, what a great thing. They come, they read an article, they look on the website, perhaps they're not ready to buy original piece or to spend thousands on something you've created, but an easy way in, a low sort of a low hanging fruit as we often call it, easy purchase for them might be something like a beautiful book of your work. Or maybe you've written five ways with watercolors and you've got a little e-guide and you could sell that for just a few pounds or dollars. Again, if it's, if it's of value to your audience, that's a great 
passive income stream once it's set up on your website. Number six, online courses. So again, if you teach or you're in that world of creating courses, selling courses via your website are fantastic. But again, there's a difference between having a course on your website and having a clear marketing strategy that will send people across to that course and enable them to buy. So if you're decided to go with blogging, you might write a series of blog articles that answer the questions that people really have before they want to join your course. So there's all sorts of things that you can do, again, to be strategic in terms of monetizing. So you don't want just a course sitting up there and not doing anything, you want to market to it. So you think, okay, it's gonna be ultimate watercolor course. What are people, what are the key questions people ask? The paint, the brushes, the surface. I'm gonna write a little article on those particular things and then give them a discount code for buying the course. I hope this is beginning to make sense. I love this stuff. It really is about taking different pieces of your art business and making it all fit together, right? This is a fitting together type of video. And last but not least, again, if you are a content creator and you create a lot of content, you create a lot of videos, for example, and or you teach, then you can make a simple membership site. So on sites like Patreon, a lot of artists use as well, but you could also create um, your own membership sites that sits within your website that people pay a small monthly fee for or an annual have a subscription like a lot of other things we have subscriptions for and actually gain access to your artwork or behind the scenes or maybe it's a course um, they've done the course and now they want ongoing help so maybe it's a membership for people who learn watercolors and every month you give them a little topic they have a nice forum they can hang out in and they can share what they're doing etc etc now, I, I have a membership myself, the Art Business Academy. If you're interested in, in looking and seeing how a membership looks, then I will link below this video, a link where you can find out more about our membership. And that sits on my website, no surprise. So you see how it all kind of mixes together. I hope this is sparking your interest, your excitement, and now you're thinking about, wow, okay, maybe I could use blogging as a strategy to actually sell more things on my website. That's great, isn't it? If you've loved this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below because I really love it. I'm really grateful to each and every person who leaves a comment. I read all of them, I answer all of them. If I haven't answered a comment of yours, let me know, but I try to answer all of them. And it's just really helpful also for other people, I think, who watch the video. You know, let me know if you're gonna do it, you're already monetized, you're thinking of monetizing, or now you're excited and where you're going to get started. So thank you so much for watching. The next video you probably wanna watch if you haven't already would be others in my blogging series. So maybe how to seven steps to structuring a blog, or if you're at the beginning of your journey, you might wanna find out three reasons why you should be blogging. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.